The main focus of the 2013 Red Lake Ojibwe Language Summit was on teaching culture and language through immersion schools. The Red Lake Tribe concluded its two-day summit tonight. Jamil Donath explains how Red Lake and surrounding tribes are using this intensive approach to preserve their native heritage. Get them speaking back and however you can. Language specialist Margaret Peters helped develop the Mohawk language program for the Onondaga Nation. Our program teaches only in the language, so everything that they, they read and they write and they speak from pre-kindergarten to grade four is only in the Mohawk language. Peters is one of the keynote speakers at the 2013 Red Lake Ojibwe Language Summit. They want to look at a program that um, I guess is successful in, in their efforts and, and I would say we are successful. This year's two-day event focuses on revitalizing the Indian language through immersion schools. We are deliberately placing our language in a new setting. We've said we're going to operate a school in not only English, but now we're going to operate it in Ojibwe language too. Throughout the day, breakout sessions and youth presentations showcase how immersion schools in the area are helping tribal youth to learn the Ojibwe language. In the coming year, the Red Lake Nation wishes to open an Ojibwe language immersion school as well. The Leech Lake Tribe was invited to demonstrate the success of its immersion program, now 10 years running. We're amazingly successful. We feel pretty good about what we're doing. But with very few fluent speakers left, tribal elders still play a crucial role in preserving native heritage. Since I'm creating these programs and translating them. As Red Lake Elder Larry Silday explained in his keynote speech, to teach the language, you must also teach the culture. We cannot separate culture from language any more than we can separate language from the land. We incorporate a lot of activities in our, in our program. We do a lot of social dancing every day. By combining tribal traditions with innovative education, immersion schools are proving to be the solution to saving a once dying language. Jamil Donath, Lakeland News. The Red Lake Nation language revitalization plan is to have a young generation of fluent speakers within 10 years. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.